wild turkey. Seriously wild. This is probably one of the most famous and most visited places here in Turkey. To one of the seven ancient wonders of the world. Um, so I just woke outside and called for one cat, and then I became the cat lady and they all came. Good morning, everybody. Everyone. Welcome back to Turkey. We've currently spent the night here in Ivalik and we have woken up super early because we leave at around 9 a.m. today and we wanted to take in as much of this cute old town as possible. There's no one around except a couple of coffee shops are open. That's the reason we're up. We're gonna go <laughs> see if we can go find some coffee. <laughs> Sorry guys, just quickly interrupting this vlog because we wanted to say a huge thank you to Video Blocks for helping us bring this travel series to life. Now if you've never heard of them before, they're an online marketplace we've been using for over two years now where you can get studio quality stock video footage for a fraction of the cost. So you can download as many video clips as you want including HD and 4K videos after effects templates, motion backgrounds, and more. So just say you're making a video of New York City and due to time or budget constraints, you didn't get those epic B-roll shots you wanted of the Statue of Liberty. So what you do is you jump onto video blocks, search for the clip you're after, pick which one you want to use, download it and put it into your timeline. Now all video clips are royalty free, so you can use them for personal or commercial use like your YouTube videos. New clips added regularly, so there's always something fresh to download. So we'd love for you guys to go and support video blocks just like they're supporting us. If you want more information, go and check out the link in the description below. Thank you so much to video blocks for sponsoring this video. Now back to the vlog. Good night. Good night. Okay. Oh wow, this will take a long time. Mm -hmm. So we've currently come to a traditional carpet weaving place and they're showing us how they weave their carpets. Okay, let me have a go. Under. Um, under. Oh, under? Mm. Um, so this rock? It's literally rooms and rooms of carpets. I know, look at this side as well. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're amazing. So many different styles and colours. Definitely don't appreciate the work and time that goes into making these. I know, right? They take so long to make. This is kind of cool being able to see this. Thank you so much. Oh, that's nice. Guys, welcome to Ephesus. This is a very famous ancient city here in Turkey. It is over 2,000 years old. We're currently standing in the theater. It is huge. They say that it can seat 25,000 people Which and it has insane. lasted all that time. Wow. Like, look at this place. And they, uh, they're setting up a performance. They still use it today. Imagine seeing something here. Mm -hmm. That'd be amazing, but wow, this place is massive. Look. <laughs> You kind of suit the whole sandstone look at the moment with the outfit. So we're being told to just walk to the top with our backs to the theatre and then we can look. Alright. Oh wow. Wow. The sunset oh, as well. Oh my gosh. Lizzie McGuire, <laughs> this is what dreams are made of. <laughs> That's all I can think of right now. <laughs> it's a rumour has it, this is one of the original backgammon boards that they played in ancient Greek times. And we know how much the Turks love their backgammon. Every cafe we're at, they're always playing them. Yeah. Crazy. Coming to the private amphitheatre. Oh man, this is so beautiful. They picked a good spot to build the city. 
Hey buddy, just chilling out on your own column. So this is the walkway for the commoners, but if you just come over here, this is the start of the wealthy residences. You can tell that it's wealthy because they wouldn't walk on marble, they'd walk on these mosaics. This is so fascinating that they're still here. Like they're not eroded away and there's quite a bit of them. And then there's some ruins left of the houses. I never knew this. So back in the day they had toilets. Just Look a communal yeah, it's very event. Uh, close together and quite a yeah, quite a close moment, but still, they had toilets. And that full plumbing, like the yeah. stuff didn't sit there. These pipes behind here would flush everything away. That's crazy, I never knew that. So we've made it to the library and there is a dinner event going on tonight. Wow, I would love to be invited. Look at this. We have a band going there, the white table just over there, and then look at that backdrop. Wow. Very grand entrance, even grander dinner. So did some investigating. Apparently there's a cruise liner called Windsor. Haven't heard of them. This is an optional activity. Thousand dollars a pop to have dinner here. I mean, wow, it's an absolutely incredible place, but. Uh, way above my pay grade. So we've driven about 20 minutes away from Ephesus to this little town and it literally translates to the word cute in English and we're going for a little wine taste and a little dinner. It is definitely a cute town. It's living I up to the name. <laughs> desperately. There's one on the corner. There's one on the corner. So we've just come to this very local little winery or wine shop and the walls are covered in wine and then they just have these like little rugged seats and we're going to try some local wine. So this isn't like your Australian or Argentinian wine tasting experience where it's a luxury estate in this beautiful picturesque place. No, this is just a family run place. We had some sweet wines. You can say try this shop, try that. It's going to be a different experience to our standard wine tasting that we've done. Thanks, man. <laughs> Cheers. So we're currently trying fruit wine, and this one is quince, which is kind of like a pear. Cheers. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it smells very sweet. Oh, that's really good. Oh, wow. Mmm. It tastes like wine. Well, it's like dessert wine. Mmm. -hmm. Where's dessert wine been all my life? <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye. Good morning, Selchuk. It's so quiet, I think we're the first awake. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We currently spent the night in Selchuk, and that is the town that's right next to Ephesus. So this is a place to stay if you want to visit Ephesus. But we've just woken up because breakfast is at 7.30. We literally look like we're staying in a Greek villa, and yeah. I think we're the first awake. All the different rooms are named after Greek goddesses, so we stayed in Hera last night. So before we actually leave the town of Salchuk, we have come to one of the seven ancient wonders of the world. This was just kind of surprised on us. I didn't realize that this was here. So of course the seven ancient wonders of the world, the pyramids of Egypt are the only ones standing left, but all that's left is this pillar. I'm currently trying to use my imagination to picture the temple. <laughs> and this was one of the ancient wonders because it was the largest marble construction of its time. And that's all that's left. So now we've been to two. Ancient wonders. And didn't realize that one of the other ones were in Bodrum. I know, and we so had no idea. Three? Well, we didn't see it, but yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> also, how incredible is this scene? We have an ancient wonder of the world just here. We have a mosque, we have a castle, and we have a church. So many religions just right here in front of us. from our balcony, Steve. Oh my gosh. Over there. Can you see them? Oh wow, yeah. 
Well, guys, we have arrived at the town that we're going to be spending the night. This is our next stop, and the area is called Pumakaili. This is probably one of the most famous and most visited places here in Turkey. And that white mountain over there is called Pumakaili, and it is made up of mineral-rich thermal pools. We're going to go over there now, jump in a thermal pool. I've always wanted to come here. You know, this is one of those places that you see all over online, on kind of backgrounds and computers, and we're finally here. We get to see it for ourselves. Wow, Turkey. Seriously, wow. Guys, we have arrived. It is actually the next day because, you know what, I'm just going to start a new saying. Get up for sunrise. It is a totally different experience here. I mean, it's currently 7 a.m. We are the only people here. Flashback to yesterday at 4 p.m. in the afternoon. So I didn't realize this, but you're not allowed to walk on with your shoes. You ready? Yeah, go. Tell me if it's slippery. No, it's not slippery. Really? Yeah. No, it feels like coral. Coral? Yeah. It's rough. Oh wow, it is yeah. rough. That's so interesting. It looks so slippery. So grippy. Wow. It is so white. So this is all the minerals that have come out of the thermal water and then it's kind of like solidified, I guess, from the sun. I'm not 100% sure, but it is everywhere. It is covering this whole place and that's what's making it look white. <laughs> Tip guys, bring sunnies. It is blinding. It literally looks like we're walking on a glacier right now. Uh -huh. Except it's 38 degrees. <laughs> it's uh, very hot right now. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool how grippy the surface is, there's water gushing out of some of the pools. I'm on a slant at the moment, but you have perfect grip. So this place is actually half natural, half man-made, because back in the ancient times, they actually used the sediments to make these pools. And as you can see, so they're full of water, and they would bathe in these, and they kind of cascade down the mountain. And that's what's so cool about them. That's, yeah, that's what makes this place so unique, is that they've made all these man-made pools out of all this natural thermal water. Is it warm? No, it's cold. It's cold? It's, it's kind of like, but it's not icy cold. It's refreshing, like, I kind of want to go in. It's crazy how many pools there are. Yeah. Wow. There's all that stuff so down there. Yeah, it's so busy now. So if you guys are looking for that postcard iconic shot, it's from these pools up here, but because it's so hot today, they're all dried up. I can definitely agree that this is the most visited site here in Turkey. You like don't get these colors when you visit it during the day. Like it's whites and pinks, it's different to sunset. This is the best time guys. This place is so unique. We have never been to a place like it. The place is covered in white. It kind of looks like we're walking on snow, except it's hard, soft yet hard. It's like a weird, kind of texture to describe but look at this guys you need to get up for sunrise it opens at 6 30 a.m just get here first we'll look there's no one here these pools date back to the ancient times and yesterday we had to do it so we chucked our togs on and we went and swam in cleopatra's pool which was such a cool experience because into this area and the columns fell into this pool and now a thermal pool for people to use and the columns and ancient buildings are all still in the water. Like it's nice and warm and the ground is pebbles. So 
about 36 degrees outside it's about 40 41 degrees so this is very very refreshing it's about 12 bucks to get in so far totally worth it this is such a cool experience i don't think i can say i've ever swam across ancient rooms before turkey you just have everything all right guys we're now rushing back to the hotel before our bus leaves our intrepid group is waiting bucket list ticked off wow this is one of those moments where you're just like man i appreciate being here in turkey guys i think we've come to the most unique fish markets we've ever been to let's just get some char grilled burnt ice cream <laughs> always an issue trying to get ice cream here in turkey